that everything that the Zionists say about the Palestinians, they are actually saying about themselves. It is the Zionists who are, in fact, guilty of every accusation that they level on the Palestinians. The accusation of terrorism, it is the Zionists who are, in fact, the terrorists. The accusation that Palestinians don't want peace, don't want peace, it is, in fact, Israel who does not want peace. The accusation that the Palestinians are only acting out of hatred and anti-Semitism, it is in fact the Zionists who are acting out of hatred and racism. The accusation that Palestinians are intent on annihilating Jews, it is in fact the Zionists who are intent on annihilating the Palestinians. Not only on, on intent on it, they have in fact been doing it. It is the Zionists who are in fact annihilating the Palestinians. They are doing it today as we speak with the latest assault on the people of Gaza. The Zionists have been in a campaign of annihilation and ethnic cleansing in Palestine since they first set, since they first came to Palestine. The latest assault on Gaza and the Gaza Massacre of 2009 are part of that campaign of annihilation. The Janine Massacre of 2003, the Massacre of Shabbat Sabra and Shikila, in 1982, the Darius Massacre in 1948, and every other massacre in between are all part of that plan. They're all part of that, 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 that plan to annihilate and ethnically cleanse the land of Palestine and its inhabitants and its indigenous people. But yet we are continuing to hear that, that Israel is the victim, that the Palestinians are the terrorists, the Palestinians are, are not guilty of anything other than trying to defend themselves a right that every individual in this world has. The Palestinians are not, not intent on annihilating anybody. It is the Zionists who have been annihilating the ethnic because of the Palestinians, the indigenous people of Palestine. The evidence speaks for itself. It is time to call the Zionists on their minds. It is time to call them accountable for the crimes against humanity that they have been committing. It is time to hear, it is time to hold our leaders here in Canada accountable for their unabashed support for these war crimes and crimes against humanity. It is time to hold our own leaders accountable for their support of the state of Israel. <clears throat> I'm guessing that many of us here are members of the, uh, of the NDP here in Canada. Many more of us, I'm guessing, are supporters of the NDP, and we vote NDP when the, on the, when the elections come. Back in March, when Tom McLaren was elected leader of the NDP, one of his first public statements that he made was to profess a strong sympathy and support for the state of Israel. Many of us here were shocked when we heard that. We shook our heads, we shook our heads. But did any of us actually do anything about it? <coughs> did we actually hold them accountable for this unabashed endorsement of Zionism on behalf of the NDP party? I'm wondering what the reaction would, would have. Been. I'm wondering what the reaction would have been had he said that he sympathizes with the people of Palestine and that he hopes for justice, for for a just and equitable solution to the conflict. I'm wondering what the reaction would have been to him to that statement. But he didn't say that. Instead, he expressed ardent support for the state of Israel in all instances. Did any of us send a message to the new leader voicing our concern about his endorsement of Zionism? Did any of, did any of us send him a letter saying we are withdrawing our membership from the NDP because we cannot, in good conscience, support a leader who supports Zionism? Did any of us call for McLaren to step down from, as a leader of the NDP? 
because of his support for war crimes and crimes against humanity? I'm guessing no.